I don't think it needs to be said that Black Books is one of the most well-received and popular British comedy shows of all time. And considering it's about a bookshop, I should love it. And I have to say, don't jump down my throat. I don't hate it. I do not dislike it. But I thought I'd discuss my second experience with the first episode of this. Cooking the Books was released in 2000 and directed by uh, Graham Linehan and Nick Wood, starring, of course, Dylan Moran, Tamsin Gregg and Bill Bailey. And the reason that this is my second experience is because I actually tried watching this in about 2011, 2012. I remember I was in my first year of university at the time and I just didn't like it. I didn't take to it at all. And then I'm currently desperate for a sitcom to binge watch. So I, I thought I'd give it another go. It is on Netflix. And I definitely enjoyed the first episode a lot more the second time around. Maybe there are things in it that I didn't get the first time around. But I feel like the humour is pretty universal. I don't think it's necessarily something where the more you know, the more you'll get. It's it's pretty standard um, style of comedy that, that appeals to a wide audience. Maybe I was just in the right mood for it. I don't know. But I definitely think it was a lot better the second time around. This first episode is obviously all about setting up the situation and and um, introducing our protagonists. And I will say, I was quite nervous because it was getting towards the end of the episode. And they still hadn't properly given Manny, Bill Bailey, a proper introduction to the bookshop. And I wasn't sure how they were going to do it or how they'd fit it in in time. But actually, it, it worked really well. Basically, Bernard Black runs uh, Black Books, the bookshop. And he is a drunkard, he is lazy, he would rather there were no customers in. He doesn't know how to keep his accounts. And one thing leads to another. And he ends up bumping into Manny, played by uh, the fabulous Bill Bailey. And then Manny goes on a particularly interesting journey throughout the episode. And I'm not going to divulge anything. But I will say it gives him a pretty interesting encounter with Martin Freeman, who plays a doctor. Why he sees a doctor, I won't tell you. Definitely give it a watch to find out. And then, by the end of the first episode, this is obviously not a spoiler, this is setting up the premise for the entire show. Manny ends up helping out at the bookshop with uh, Bernard. And obviously, after this, it's going to be about the things they get up to in the bookshop and... I guess these very contrasting personalities working in the same environment. Fran is a character I absolutely love. I think just the way the character is represented in this first episode and the way she's trying to find out what that ball is. And I'm not going to spoil it and say what it is. Um, I just loved her. There was a fantastic vibe for this character and I cannot wait to see what else they do with this character. Hans and Greg is obviously absolutely fantastic. Um, and I think Fran is going to be the driving force behind solving a lot of altercations, particularly any that appear, appeal, appear, can't speak, any that arise between Manny and Black. I'm really looking forward to watching it. This first episode was a very good introduction, a little bit chaotic you know a lot happened in a short space of time you know 20 20 something minutes and dylan moran does this little dance at one point the dance he does in front of the skinheads just i don't know why it amused me so much but it really did and i just i thought it was really really good really brilliant so why didn't i like it the first time i don't know i really don't maybe it just wasn't my style of humor back then comedy is obviously a very personal thing and our preferences and our tastes can develop and adapt over time. Maybe now is just the time for me to watch this. I said at the beginning that I was looking for a sitcom that I wanted to binge watch. I don't think I will be binge watching this one, at least not at the moment. I'm not you know, desperate for the end of the day where I can sit down and relax and watch 20 episodes back to back. I think I will drip feed it so I don't become overwhelmed and risk not liking it because I want to really thoroughly enjoy this series and I think I will but maybe as I get more and more into it and get a grip on different aspects of it maybe my rate of viewing it will increase 
Uh, I'm assuming it's all on Netflix. I hope it is. But it's, it's also on, I think, Channel 4 and somewhere else. It's not difficult to get hold of. Second time, definitely the charm. Cooking the books was a good introduction, and I'm really looking forward to watching the rest.